Hi everyone, Ian here. In this video I'm going to give you a crash course in the falloff object. And what this object does is it allows you to control the area of influence of a node. Uh, best way to, to really show you is to actually show you. So I'm just going to add a random node to the position channel. And then the way that you get at full of objects is under this full of object roll down, which is on every single node in MASH, um, I think. Um, I should know, I, I'm going to say confidently, it is on every single node in MASH. I think so anyway. Um, Except, oh, yeah, there is an exception, except the distribute node. So, um, the way that you create a falloff object is you right click in the falloff um, object drop zone and you, hit, uh, you go to create. And what this does is it gives you a falloff object. So, uh, you can move uh, falloff objects around, you can scale them if you, uh, if you want to. And um, yeah, you've got many an option on the um, falloff objects. So, there are effectively, there are uh, a few things that you need to know and if you um, if you double click on a falloff object on its host node as it were uh, that will just take you through to the falloff object options so a few things that you need to know uh, firstly falloff objects have this inner zone and you can see this moving on the screen uh, kind of growing um, this uh, inner zone is the area um, inside which the points will have the full effect of the node so they're getting full random effect um, and then uh, from the edge of the inner zone uh, the strength will fall from 1 uh, to 0 or uh, envelope if you will it will fall from uh, 1 to 0 um, so uh, what we can do is yeah um, we can uh, change our um, uh, we can change our fall off um, from a linear style to a, to a smoother style if you want to um, you can um, you can create some uh, kind of crazy word effects here if you want to do stuff like that um, I don't know why you'd want to do that but you may want to do that uh, you can invert the fall off so uh, the fall off um, is the area where the node has no effect at all um, and uh, we have shapes here so you can change the shape from a sphere to a cube if you want to and uh, so on and so forth and I'm going what I'm going to do is well actually there's also if I go back to spherical mode just slightly clearer I'm going to shrink this down a little bit there is also um, this cool add mode which is a, a simulation so we've got this add mode and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the falloff object straight through and then you can see that the um, where the falloff object went it kind of added influence and then didn't take it away when it left so you've also got this um, add mode fade here so if I just turn this to 0.1 and wiggle this around um, just to get some calculations you see that as the fall off object leaves it kind of um, leaves a trail behind it I'm just going to actually half that um, if I just do that again so you get a better effect um, as you can see so the objects kind of come back together again uh, which is pretty cool um, so just something to note that this add mode is a simulation and while most of MASH is procedural there are some things in it that are uh, simulated and so will require you to alembic out the mesh or if you're in instancer mode you would have to um, cache the MASH network uh, the way to do that is with your way to select it, go create mash utilities cache mash network and then that will just load up the appropriate um, appropriate caching mechanism so it's alembic for um, for uh, a repro um, mesh uh, repro style network so um, so with this done I am going to um, just uh, go to my random node and I'm actually going to uh, delete the fall off object so I'm going to hit break connection there which is uh, got rid of the fall off object and I'm just going to delete it um, in fact, actually, I don't want the random position to do anything because I'm going to show you some um, some kind of more advanced stuff, but I'm going to show you it with the color node. So the way that um, the color node works in MASH, it's added automatically when you're using a um, when you're using a repro network. And what color does is it turns on color per vertex for your output mesh, so you can add color per vertex to uh, each MASH point, and then that will come through in the end end mesh as long as you turn on three options and uh, yeah I appreciate that that isn't the smoothest workflow but you do have to do three things first things first you have to turn on color per vertex on the repro node this is off by default I've already turned it on so you want to make sure that that's on second thing you want to do is turn on uh, toggle display colors attributes like so and um, our colors our color per vertex are all black because the color node is off so click enable and then the uh, color gets turned on so you could uh, pick a different color if you want uh, a different color for your color per vertex and then we're just going to create a fall off node so uh, there you go so fall off is now affecting the color so um, uh, yeah and then you know we can put the, this um, can put this uh, into add mode as well and then we can 
whoops, we can drive it around like so, and you've got some cool effects. Um, something to note about Color Per Vertex and this add mode is that um, Maya's Alembic export doesn't support uh, animating Color Per Vertex, so that's just something to be aware of, and so if you um, want to, I mean, 99% of the time when you're using um, Color Per Vertex or CPV, um, you'll be piping it into a texture, and uh, when that's the case, just bake out the texture, and and then use the image sequence um, as the uh, to affect the um, to affect the texture, um, or you can render it just on one machine, or render it in the viewport, um, which are the other ways to go about it. Uh, so yeah, that's and that's only for the color node. Um, right, so back to it. Um, we you can have um, all these different shapes uh, for the fall off nodes. So you can have a curve, particles, or a mesh. So uh, let's start with the curve. So uh, the way you go about that is to I'm just going to draw a curve across the surface of um, uh, across the surface of our kind of um, mesh, mesh there and um, the way you get into um, the fall off uh, object is to you just roll down these connections thing here and then you have one of these um, uh, mash uh, drag and drop zones and what you can do is just um, middle mash drag the curve onto the shape in here and then the curve is actually the fall off um, shape now so um, what you can do is you can change this uh, custom shape radius here which will um, increase the area of effect that the uh, curve has which is cool um, I've got uh, add mode turned on let's just turn that off um, and then of course you've got the you've got the con uh, so, sorry, you can control the inner zone as well if you want to. Um, and uh, we can also have a mesh. So let's create a torus. And I'm just going to wind down the section radius. And then what I'll do is back on the fall off node, I'm just going to drag and drop the torus into the shape in here. And then you can see that, um, yep, the torus is now our kind of our fall off shape, which is pretty cool. Ah. Something went crazy. Um, yeah, so there you go. And then what we can do is, um, what should I do next? Uh, I'm just going to move the torus off. I'm just going to delete it. And then um, let's have a look at particles. So uh, on the mesh network, I'm going to add a transform node. And then I'm just going to, uh, on the controller null, I'm just going to right click and go create. Uh, which creates this nice null that we can use to translate and uh, rotate, scale the entire mesh network as one object. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some particles. So if we go into the FX modeling menus and the FX menus, sorry, and then go create emitter, um, I'm going to move the emitter up and then change it to a volume emitter. And then I'm just going to scale it a lot like so. And then if I just rewind and hit play, let's just see what we've got. Okay, so what I can do here is I'm going to uh, select the full object again, and then I'm going to middle mouse drag the particles onto the shape in. And then if I hit play, you see that we've got this cool effect um, as the each particle is considered like a mini um, sphere shape. Um, and we can control the radius that this happens if we want to, uh, like so. And yeah, you just um, hit play and there you go. So this gets really cool when you consider that the output from a mesh repro network is actually a mesh. And because it's a mesh, what you can do is you can turn it into a passive collider, which means that the particles will hit it and then kind of like roll down the surface. And uh, this gets even cooler uh, when you turn uh, the fall off uh, node into add mode. And then if we just hit rewind and play again, yeah, cool things happen. So yeah, there you go. Um, that's it, that's kind of all I wanted to show you. Um, and that is the, that's a kind of a crash course in the, um, in the mash fall off node.